Here we are in 2010, and when we look at you know, Canada and the way that Canada has handled vice, uh, we, uh, we may be surprised to find out that you know, at the beginning of the 20th century, we decided to ban alcohol use. It's because again of individuals and groups who basically look at, at these habits, you know, smoking, taking drugs, uh, drinking. And these people were convinced, especially in the case of alcohol, the case of drugs, that every time you do that, well, it's a vice. It's something that is highly condonable. This is suddenly something that we should discourage. Well, you had uh, individuals, sometimes motivated by their religious beliefs, who wanted to use the power of the state in such a way that, well, you know what, will make sure that society would become better and the best way to make society better was by prohibiting alcohol use. It took them 60 years to force the federal government to uh, make alcohol use you know, an illegal substance and we had prohibition for about two or three years. The only means they had was you know, talking, organizing public rally, putting pressure, writing letters, etc. And they were fighting, they had, you know, powerful uh, forces against, against which, you know, they, they were fighting. Uh, the liquor industry, of course the liquor industry, they made the point that if we make alcohol use illegal, they all go bankrupt. You had farmers, farmers who said, well, listen, you know, if, if we cannot sell our grain to the liquor industry, well, you'll put us out of business. Uh, or those who have taverns who said, well, listen, you know, taverns, we have a social purpose. Uh, we, we help people, you know, to get to know each other better, etc. If you make alcohol an illegal substance, we'll be out of business. And then, of course, politicians, uh, late 19th century, many politicians who receive uh, financial support from the liquor industry, and of course, politicians were reluctant. Then here we are, you know, you have those powerful forces but those individuals who believed that alcohol use was a terrible thing, well, after 60 years of uh, fight and, you know, debates, etc., they were quite successful. Well, successful, again, we have to dispute that because prohibition lasted only three years. After three years, prohibition was, was up. It's really uh, by focusing on vice, teaching on vice, writing on vice, it's an opportunity to better understand the political process. And it's to remind us <laughs> that we are quite powerful as an individual, as a group, because we do have the power to change things.